Okay. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Tricia, for that introduction. Let me start by asking you all this question. Raise your hand if you feel you've ever been given the impossible challenge. <laughs> I know most of us in this room have. Well, I'm here today to share our story with you, one where we had to cut our business cycle in half. We had no budget dollars allocated for us to do this. And we were in uncharted waters. We had no history or proven techniques internally to pull from. And as you can see from the title of my presentation, we did it because we had no choice. So as Tricia mentioned, I'm the Chief Financial Officer, and I also have the accountability for IT. MPAC, or the Municipal Property Assessment Corporation, is a Canadian public sector organization. And our mandate is to deliver a province-wide property assessment system. We value over 5 million properties, worth over $2 trillion, and that generates almost $30 billion of tax revenue annually. And we are one of the largest assessment jurisdictions in the world. And back in 2013, we launched a new strategic plan, one that was brave with bold reaching goals. And a key insight to that plan was a report from a noted Canadian economist named Don Drummond. And he said, we need to reform Ontario's public services. We need to do more with less. We need to drive efficiency and effectiveness, two goals that complement each other. So at MPAC, we challenged ourselves to not only drive better public service, but to save over $20 million in the process. And we only gave ourselves four years to do it with a dry run in the third year. So now let me share some of our IT landscape. <laughs> My IT department is about 160 staff and a $30 million budget. And we were paralyzed at times by lights on and care and feeding of our existing infrastructure. We were only 5% innovation and 95% run and build. And there was this fear of failure and desire for 100% certainty that was almost driving an anti-culture for change. Our systems either worked or predictably didn't work, and the organization had evolved around it, similar to how a tree grows through an intruding object. So a lot of our greatest challenges and greatest opportunities were often left unsolved. Innovation and evolution through cloud became more and more obvious and necessary for our own survival. So this prompted our first experiment. We had to improve our customer-facing portal for over 5 million property owners in Ontario. And it all started with a handful of people in IT who set up an AWS account on a purchasing card at an average of $50 to $100 a month. <laughs> and their belief was, we think we can do this faster and better than we ever have before. And the architecture was open source, cloud, integrate, not build, privacy, and security. And the results, within only three months, we had achieved over 75% savings. We had over 200,000 user accounts, almost 2 million inquiries, and we'd implemented a privacy by design framework. It was a success. And based on that success, we made an executive level commitment to the cloud, and we started on our journey of 100% cloud, zero owned infrastructure on demand, and dramatically lower IT costs. Now with that success under our belt, here is our next challenge. This is where we essentially needed to cut our business cycle in half. We had multiple valuation platforms, and our data was decentralized from Oracle to Excel to Clipper to MS Access. And we had painful system performance at times. It was taking us 40 hours to value 80,000 properties, and we needed to get to four hours to value all five million. So therefore, we set out on a quest to achieve what we call one version of the truth, and this is how we did it. It started with us needing one data warehouse for data integrity and to enhance speed. 
and for this we utilized Amazon Redshift. We needed one service-enabled valuation engine, and for this we utilized open source components such as R and Python running on EC2. We needed to meet our privacy statutes, and AWS was approved for us in this regard by both our legal counsel and our internal privacy commissioner. And to monitor speed and performance, we use CloudWatch, ELB, and CloudScale. And the results? Millions of lines of code that used to be in stored procedures became thousands of lines of code in R. Cloud versus servers, instances were set up in seconds. And we now do continuous versioning with automated data checks. Now here's one of the first morals of the story that I'd like to share with you. It is the responsibility of leadership to encourage experimentation and embrace failure. Encourage your people to dream big and experiment. As the CFO and as part of the executive team, along with our president and our board, we've worked very hard through our strategic journey to build a culture that allows for bold, brave goals, new ideas, experimentation, and encouraging us to learn from failure. This was the start of our cloud journey at MPAC. Remember that small group in IT with a big idea and a purchasing card? From there, that small team redesigned and replatformed just one application. And here's another takeaway I'd like to leave with you. Cut the time out of your projects. We make all of our projects time-bound, 100 days only, and in IT, that forced us to spend less time on build and run. And AWS was key for us in this regard. It took the work out of running IT, and it allowed us to consume services instead. AWS essentially enabled us to become a business value IT department. And I'm proud to say that for our next core delivery, 100% of our core business engine will be running in AWS. It now runs 5,000% faster, at one-tenth of the cost. And finally, scarcity forced us to innovate. Therefore, cut your IT budgets first. I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> we demanded innovation at dramatically less cost. This is what drove and necessitated cloud innovation at MPAC. RDS and Redshift have allowed us to eliminate licenses and essentially bring down our IT overhead. But we're not done. Our imagination continues to grow. So if you only remember these three things from my short talk, please remember this. Encourage experimentation. Cut the time out of your projects. And cut your budgets. We did. And we did it. Because we had no choice. Thank you, everyone.